Doug Peterson, man, what a beautiful drive he has. That helped Peterson out a lot. Yep. Put together a solid effort here as Peterson. Out of Benita Springs, Florida. His sponsor, a sponsor of Moses Smith in the NASCAR West Series. Moses very involved in this uh, form of the Mazda category. Won the Western States Division of Star Mazda Racing in pro categories and now back behind the efforts to keep the chassis and parts consistent for everyone throughout the nation. Toss of pool supplies on that effort. For that orange machine of Mark Anderson. Back there in fifth position now as the 0-2 of Wills got position on him. Winkelmulder right there now, no question about it. Marshawn not far behind them. It's going to be a good battle. Darrell Wills, uh, Darryl Wills wish for a super sweep is uh, slipping away here. His hopes are at least he's back there in the fourth position. The National Points champion won his division, won one of the key events, and if he wins the runoffs, he gets that super sweep category. A very prestigious honor, but again, you got to earn it here, and it looks like the top three ahead of him have a bit too much here as the laps are winding down here in Formula Mazda. There is Darrell Wills from Deer Park, Texas. One of the busiest men in amateur road racing. 15 times he was on track this year in the Formula Mazda Divisional Racing. Here come over, keeps pulling to the inside like that, and it's the wrong thing to do. He needs to stay right up behind the back end of Peterson. Look at See the run Marshawn got because of that yeah, pinch. That's exactly what he did. He keeps pinching his corners off as Marshawn has just done. But makes the pass now. That was inevitable. That's the move for the silver medal. There goes Wills to the inside as well. So one corner. Cost him two spots. Three spots now as Vinkmulder's back to fifth. Not too sure Vinkmulder, why going to the inside like that didn't dirty up his tires. Going on the wrong part of the race back and cars going home go. He might have just picked up a lot of debris right there. Boy, that's a three-car battle. It's not going to be quiet here. Noise made down in the five. Uh, it's going to be wrecked here. Big Mother taps the back of Anderson. They're yeah. both able to hold on here. Definitely hit the back of Anderson's car. Now they're doing real defense. They've got him off in the grass. Pretty Those dirty. two spun while racing for the lead here in the sprints not too long ago. Yeah, they, they are not getting the pass done cleanly, and, and it's, it's obvious. You know, they keep fainting to the inside and cutting the racetrack up. Now four wheel off around the outside. Make it 12 wheels off for Wills, yeah. man. He was way off. <laughs> I'll take it. That's how bad he wants it. Darrell Wills running third, now up to second. I take that back. This is not for the lead. This is right. crazy. Peterson's checked out on these guys. Yeah, because of all the battling. Unbelievable run. There's the six of Sloan. He's back in the sixth position. We thought he would have a, a louder voice in the run of this one. But, man, what a pace is set by Peterson up front. Juan Marchand runs in the third position, second position now. We, we have no seen, sight of a race leader right now. have not seen Peterson or his car for a little bit. Marshawn might be winning this race. Marshawn has what may be the lead and the championship in hand here as this is a battle for position. We're still checking throughout the course if our race leader is off. Second place just being taken over as we try to search out the Doug Peterson car somewhere out there. That's Wills over Peterson right there in that 42. Or Anderson, excuse yeah. me. Wills is now in second place. Just grab that. There is the race leader. He's out of it. He's done. Yep. That's outside of turn eight. I don't know if he's pulled off with mechanical issues. And misses for the win. Marshawn wins it. Unbelievable. Wills finishes in the silver medal position. Anderson in bronze. Again, we mentioned the time is winding down. Mayhem on course. They're battling for spots, <laughs> and unbelievably, and it Juan Marchand from ninth to first. This kid went from last on the grid in the 09 June Sprints to win it. He doesn't like being out there in front until the very end. Holy cow. Well, he worked really hard from a really bad qualifying situation, works himself from sixth place, actually dropped back to about eighth, works his way to the lead. Mechanical and issues, I think, for our leader, early leader, Doug Peterson. Unbelievable run. Controversy throughout this race determining who's going to get what line. It got heated. These drivers knew they were running out of time and running out of laps. Anderson and Wills and Vinkmulder really had a scrap. And Marshawn picked them, picked through all of them and went on to win the gold medal. We're going to take a replay look here at some of the action in Formula Mazda. Unbelievable run. Marshawn takes the gold. Here we are going. There's, There's the, the race leader, Peterson, slowing here. The yellow car slowing off yep. pace in that tussle into turn number eight. And there's something broke on that car. We were paying attention, of course, to the, the car on the outside all the way off the racetrack, seeing if it was going to crash or not. Right there. Great work by our SpeedcastTV.com crew here. SpeedcastTV.com covering the action here for the runoffs. That yellow car slowing was the race leader, Marchand. Knew right then. Head down, run to the gold. Peterson, of course, knew right away something broke and was trying to get himself out of harm's way and off the racetrack. 
Now we go back to live action here. This is the warm down lap as the cars will be coming back to pit road. Wow, Marshawn takes the lead when Peterson's car fails in the final circuit. You know, and Darrell Wills might have had to go off that racetrack around the outside there to avoid the fact that uh, Peterson's car just laid down in the middle of that corner. So we, uh, we were calling him going way off the racetrack. He might not have had any choice. In which Solid case point, he Dorsey, absolutely. And here's the unofficial finish. Marshawn, the gold medalist, the silver to Darrell Wills, the bronze to Mike Anderson. Jason Vinkwelder will have to settle for fourth and wonder what if. Finishing fifth is Jamie Sloan again on the final circuit. Things change dramatically with race leader Doug Peterson pulling off course. James Harrelson ends up sixth, then Ryan Denault, Hillenburg, and Greb. And Denault was the car that came out of the pits. It was all the way in the very, very back. He started dead last on the field, so he did a great, great job as well. Awesome run for Ken Denault from in the pits on that final start, back up into the eighth position. Solid top ten run for him. Again, Greb was up there in the sixth and seventh spot battling away. Great action in Formula Mazda here as the 2010 SCCA National Championship runoffs Continue here. Former the Mazdas in the books, and Juan Marchand backs up the win from last year in the very same race car, and he is now heading back to pit road. A salute to the racers, the corner workers, and the fans as the Formula the Mazda guys continue around this four-mile course after receiving a checkered flag in an eventful race, to say the least. Up the hill in turn 14 onto pit road here. It's amazing that they're doing this. Form of the Mazda. Throughout the nation, a very much a even Steven class. And we saw the cream rise to the top from the nation's best. Jason Mulder, the Central Division champion, finishing in the fourth spot. Juan Marchand, again, did not race this division all year long because of the championship provisional. What a wild finish that was. I knew you couldn't have guessed that one. Marchand coming all the way from sixth, dropped back to eighth, all the way up to the lead as the leader breaks and sends the whole top five flying. I think he took an extra lap here. I think he took an extra lap. Why not, right? He doesn't <laughs> believe it. He doesn't. Are you sure? Ah, what a what a joy. What a feeling that has to be. To win here, he's got the gloves off. Thumbs up to the corner workers in 14. Up the hill. Juan Marchand is again pulling down into pit road here. Absolute joy. For Marshawn and these and these podium finishers, I mean, these guys really worked their tails off to win, to finish second, and to run third. That's Mark Anderson, very happy. He can't even believe it. He's saying, wow, and he's just gotten done racing. <laughs> yeah, We're watching this thing. We can't believe it. Now he's going to take his victory lap? I hope not. We'll never get him. <laughs> he already got a spare one in there. Yeah, he's got a spare. <laughs> he's got an extra lap already. Here he comes. All right. Yeah, Biz is conducting traffic down there get him biz <laughs> hey after 15 straight years of doing this i think he has the rights to do that come oh. on up here i gotta talk to you that's right the mobile one winner's interview. interview go for it biz okay while he's doing that taking well, the helmet off one was celebrating all the way around the track waving to the uh, track workers and everything he won the race and arrived last in the pits struggling with that helmet there you go Juan. <laughs> Very good, buddy. Congratulatory hat. Where's where's Juan's medal, Bonnie? Right here. You look best with gold on you. Well, let me tell you, you look exhausted. You did not have the best first half of the race, but boy, were you flying the second half. Tell us about it. Yeah, uh, thanks to that red flag, I was able to uh, get the field in front of me again, and and uh, and I still had a lot left. the 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 car was uh, the car was awesome, and uh, yeah. It was, a, it was a really good one. It was a really good one. Oh, wait a minute. You, you went back to like ninth or 10th place, okay, from your qualifying position. Yeah. You had to pass people left and right. This is one of the toughest classes because everything is so close. Yes. How did you get it done? I, uh, I've been here before where I started last, and then we had a caution, and, and the field bunched up, so I was able to uh, pick them off, and I'm pretty sure they knew I was behind them, so they, they made a few mistakes, and I kept capitalized there. Um, yeah, that was about it. Congratulations. Well, I, I can see that you're just overwhelmed by the whole thing, but really, congratulations on a great, great drive. One of the best so of the weekend. Thank you so much. And uh, I want to thank Brad, my dad, Massa Speed, SUCA, and Goodyear. Uh, thank you very much. And the Gingerman Raceway, Raceway, of course, that's where I live, so that's where I'm going in a little bit. Thank you very, very much. All right, well, now you can take that flag all the way around the track. Congratulations, Juan. Let's talk to, uh, to Daryl. 
and Mike. I want to get you two guys together. Come on up here, Mike. Daryl, step right on in here, buddy. We we had. We we had. Would you two stop yeah. hugging each other? I mean, my gosh. Now, uh, our, you're 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 closer off the track than on the track. I don't. I didn't think that was possible. Back and forth, right, left, everything. The whole. How clean was that? How hard is it to make it that clean? We're going to get a little noise here. If one. To, to make it that clean, but we got a really great group of drivers, and it really demonstrates the, the competitive competitiveness of the class. Well, with everyone with the same rules, I mean, driver talent, driver skill, familiarity with the circuit, and of course, having those specifications to the maximum, that's absolutely paramount. Oh, absolutely. You, the, these top cars are prepared as well as anything out here. I mean, it's they're spec, but we spent a lot of time trying to get every little bit of piece of performance out, because as you can see, they are so close. It's hard to pass. I mean, you, you even drafting, you draft, you can get about half a car length on them. And then after that, it's like, oh, okay, let's pedal it. Let's get down in there and see what happens. Well, I mean, Doug Peterson was able to pull away. Yeah, he had a strong car. I, I, I put uh, one or two laps where I tried to push really hard to see if I could close the gap to maybe uh, uh, challenge him. And, uh, and he was driving hard. He, uh, that guy can hustle a car, man. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, maybe out of everyone I've seen so far, you had the most fun out there of, of anyone. Congratulations on silver and bronze. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank right. you. Thanks to my sponsor, Hasa. Thank you, guys. Okay, guys, a lot of happy people down here. Close, yeah, close racing. That's what it's all about. Way to bunch them back up there, Biz. And, again, this is the victory lap for Juan Marchand. He mentioned he had that knowledge. Running the June sprints adds that much more importance to these amateur racers. He learned from that experience in 2009 to come from the back to win. We Pays talk. off here for him here.